Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <clears throat> Your mass intentions for today, for the needs of Holy Mother Church and the suffering world, for Carmel, the Redemptress, our families, friends, and benefactors, for those recommended to our prayers, and for the repose of the soul of Leoncia Segovia, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And it's the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. The beginning of this solemnity, we ask the Lord to prepare our hearts by setting us free from all evil, so that we may hear his word and meet him in this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book of Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs appearing to them during forty days, and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, Two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord has gone up. Goes up with blast. trumpet blast. All peoples clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God is king of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. 
God sits upon his holy throne. God has come up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe, according to the working of his great might, which he accomplished in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and made him sit at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in, his, in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. disciples of all nations, says the Lord, I am with you always to the close of the age. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory is to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him but some doubted. Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the close of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. So we celebrate the Ascension, a great mystery of our faith. But it is also a problem. Among the many mysteries of our faith, and perhaps 
the ascension is the most neglected. And because it is neglected, then myths and stories gain circulation so that somehow the great feast is reduced to some sort of trick of levitation or some imaginary space travel. Of course, the Christian mysteries really are all one great mystery, a unity of harmony of God's dealing with us, including the whole of humanity. And we remember not long ago, I, at the extracts from the Last Supper discourse, we heard Jesus saying that uh, some of the things that had to be revealed were too much for the disciples at that time. Well, they're still too much for us, too difficult for us to get our heads around. But little by little, in the life of faith, we come to appreciate. And today, the Feast of the Ascension sort of widens our horizons in a most dramatic sort of way and helps us to appreciate what God has done. First of all, of course, is the departure of Jesus. When he left this spatio-temporal world that we inhabit and became absent in order to be present in a different way. His going, and he had taught this at the Last Supper, his going would help the coming of the Spirit. And so he is present now in a different way to the whole church, to the whole world, in a way that was not possible before his ascension. He was limited to Palestine, to this particular spot. He's now set free from all restrictions and free to be, as the scriptures said this morning, ruler of everything, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills the whole creation. And it means also that Jesus has completed what he was sent to do. He has come among us. He has identified with us. The word made flesh. He has preached among us. He has lived among us for a long time, well, 33 years. And now that mission is complete because he has a little group who will become the church his body on earth. And so the beauty of the plan of God is becoming uh, visible to us. And taken up into heaven, having completed his work, the way the scriptures describe this is that he is now sitting at the right hand of God the Father. And he is continuing his role as high priest interceding for us. Of course, one of the first things, in a human way, one of the first things he does when he sits at the right hand of the Father is release the Spirit. And that is why next Sunday we will celebrate the outpouring of the Spirit at Pentecost. But all this that is happening to Jesus is meant to happen to us also. We all constantly reflect on this, that we are meant to live in Christ, to share his life, but also to share his suffering, to share his death, to share his resurrection, and to share his ascension. We are, that's our destiny. That's why in the liturgy, we pray today <clears throat> that where he is, 
and where he, our founder and our head, has gone before, we hope to follow, so that we too may share his divinity. And so what we are celebrating today reaches, or the horizon reaches, even to the end of the age. Now by that is meant also <clears throat> the second coming of Christ in glory. The first coming was in humility as a tiny babe. The second coming is Christ in the fullness of his glory, having achieved the work that the Father gave him to do. And so our celebration is a celebration of Christ with us and a celebration of our destiny. It's not a vanishing trick. It's a manifestation of the power and the beauty of God, Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Let us stand to profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. The whole church is called today to look to heaven and remember the Lord in his glory and to bring to him all our needs. That our church and parish family may be witnesses of the risen Christ in our own community and to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the bishops, priests, deacons, and ministers of our church 
may continue the great mission entrusted by Christ to the eleven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every nation, power, and dominion of the earth may give praise to God through their work together for justice and peace for all peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who seek to be disciples of Jesus may receive a spirit of wisdom and insight to know God clearly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor, the sick, the suffering, and the needy may come to know in our outreach to them the great hope to which God has called us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all our deceased relatives and friends may be reborn in the life of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, our loving Father, will hear the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Father, in raising up the Lord Jesus from the grave, you have given hope to us and to all humanity. Hear the prayers we make to you in the name of Jesus, source and life of that hope, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son, Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts. We have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, with Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. In the power of the Spirit and in the words Jesus gave us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that 
by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us here this evening. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> the body of Christ. <laughs> <coughs> the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. <coughs> the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. 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 The body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onwards, to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.
Amen.